Hey guys, I'm Dr. Deuce and welcome back to The Surgery. Now in my Beatmakers Breakdown today, I'm going to be showing you how I created the track Three Little Birds in Logic Pro X. At the end of the video, you'll find links to download and listen to the fully mixed and mastered version of the track, as well as links to my other social media connections. As always, it's great having you guys on board and I look forward to your feedback. Now do remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. Until next time, I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace. Now the first thing I'm going to be putting down is this uh, guitar chord progression which is at the centre of the entire production. Now always make sure that you have set up your input gain at the right level to avoid distortion. And now here are the same chords played on the keyboard just to show you what the chords look like um, and the actual chord names in the progression. Like I said, this whole production is based around these few chords um, in this sequence. Okay, let's get started. So here, having put down the guitar, I'm now putting down the grand piano chords to complement the guitar. Okay, so having recorded the piano parts, I've bounced them to audio and chopped them up and reversed them to get a really nice sort of reversed texture. Now I'm laying down a pad sound. Now this is important. You don't always have to play chords with pads. Just get a nice rich sound and play solo individual notes, which add a special something to your production. Okay, now for my bells, um, I've said it before, uh, I love uh, including really light bells in um, R&B tracks. Okay, and for a nice kick drum, quite firm, not too boomy, just enough to give that bit of weight contrast in the higher frequencies already put down. Okay, and now for um, this snare drum, sort of snare rim shot sound. Now you can really start to feel the rhythm section building up. and I'm countering the rim shot snare sound with the finger snaps, giving a bit of variation to the rhythm. And again, my arpeggiated hi-hats. Um, I demonstrated this in a couple of videos, so if you want to find out more how to use the arpeggiator with your hi-hats, check my other videos. And now for my 808 bass. Now this is rounding things off. And as you can hear, the bass is very low and deep compared to the other frequencies in the production. So it really stands out. Incidentally, all of the drums I use at the moment in all of my productions pretty much are from the Body Blows drum kits. Um, there's a link right here. If you want to get your hands on them, just grab them for free. And that's it really. Now if you want to hear the fully mixed and mastered version of the track, check the description for the links and um, I hope you pick something up that's useful in this actual video. I'll be back with more of my Beatmakers Breakdown real soon. In the meantime, take good care. Remember to share, comment, like and subscribe. I'm Dr. Deuce. Peace. Music production.